Ik heb het niet meer van de gegeven. Beloved, shalom, 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 everybody. Pastor Dumezo, any shalom to you? Pastor Makume, can you hear me? Minister Yvette, Shalom, shalom. Shalom, Pastor shalom. Fezini. How are you? Um, just How switch you on your now? videos. Um, give me a signal if you can hear me. Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes, I can Hello. hear you. We can hear you. I can hear you, Pastor, Pastor John, Pastor Makume, and the whole I, family. I know, Look I know, at I the know, whole Pastor. party. Pastor uh, Bishop <laughs> <laughs> in the cards. It's good to have you. I just want to establish it. Can, can you hear me yet? Not. I can hear you. Yes, we can, can hear, hear you. Me? Yep. Yes. Okay. All right. We are about to start. Um, let me just admit a few other people, and then we will kick it off right away. Pastor Lizzie from Tabazembe, shalom to you. I can see you in the call. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Minister Tsiame, I can see you. Welcome on the call. We've got only 15 minutes that I will spend with you this afternoon, and I pray and trust that the Father will make it worthwhile for you. Maybe unmute yourselves, switch on your videos. Let me just um, test the sound quickly. Unmute yourself and just say hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. hello. Fantastic, fantastic. I can hear you all. Good afternoon and welcome. Lizzie, I can... hello, hello. Fantastic, hello. fantastic. It's awesome. It's good to see you. Lovely fellowship. We will start in a few seconds. Um, let me just get the narrow cast through to the group as well. And then we will start straight away. I will also share my screen so that you are able to see um, what we are projecting. It's going to be a very short coaching session, and I trust that you all will have a good time. Praise the Lord. Pastor Tabum Bakla, welcome. Um, Pastor Claudine cannot hear me. Um, is there anybody else who's having the same problem? Can you all hear me fine? I can hear you, Apostle. Wonderful. Thank you so much, uh, Minister Yvette. Pastor Donda, can you hear me? I can hear you very well, Apostle. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, Minister Tiame, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Lovely. Prophet Dineo, can you hear me? Fantastic. Fantastic. Pastor Lizzie, can you hear me? Pastor Lizzie, can you hear me? All right, um, Vivi, can you hear me where you are at? Loud and clear. Fantastic. All right, we, we're kicking it off. We're having 15 minutes and we are really just going to glide through this presentation. Um, I'm narrow casting to the group straight away and I'm praying. Father, in the name of the Lord Yeshua Jesus, we thank you for yet another opportunity to draw from your heart. We thank you for the privilege to be coached by you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for equipping us. Thank you for activating us for action that we may influence as servant leaders unto the glory of your name. We pray in Lord Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Amen and amen. 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 All right. I'm amen. Sure I'm sharing my screen just as a bit of background. Everybody on the call may not have gone through the leadership fundamentals. Um, the leadership fundamentals is a very 
basic course on leadership, but very, very useful. It talks about definition of leadership. It deals with servant leadership in particular. It helps you look at biblical models of leadership and how you know we can extract insights from these patterns for our own leadership. And then a bit of an introduction into self-leadership. Now, it is important that whatever content we receive, that we are able to take that and implement it. Let me just quickly record the session. I see I have not recorded the session. Um, and also share my screen with you. Fantastic, there we are. I'm sharing my screen and then we are going to quickly talk through this presentation. So it is important then beloved that all of us get to a place where whatever the Lord puts in our hands, whatever the Lord trusts us with, that we take that and implement it. But oftentimes we find that people have got a lot of things and they don't quite know how to implement it. This 15 minutes we are spending here is aimed at just helping you with capacity building. And you will probably laugh when you can see how ridiculously simple it is to build capacity. So this coaching session is really to bring you to that space where you can say, do I have the capacity? Where do I lack capacity? How do I build that capacity so that I can be intentional about using this course material and content to influence. The first thing that we want to do is ask a question. And that question is, how do we start? When you've got content like this, the best place to start is to develop a baseline. And for you to de develop a baseline, you have to ask very fundamental questions about yourself. Remember, you cannot influence effectively until you have developed self-mastery. So do an assessment, take stock of your strength. What are you good at? What are your strengths? But also be sincere and honest about your weaknesses. What areas of your life do you know that you are challenged in? And then thirdly, assess the opportunities you've got. You've got so many opportunities around you every single day. And if you are going to influence and be intentional about it as a leader, you will have to use the opportunities that you have around you. So having said that, let me quickly take you to a few benchmarks. And here are a few people we can learn from. The first one is Moses. If we were to ask Moses, Moses, what is the baseline that you are departing from? We probably would see one that he had a staff, that's a strength, but he also had a lack of confidence. He was telling the Lord how he stammers and how he is not qualified to really go in. So Moses has had both his strength and his weaknesses. As a leader, it is important when you do your assessment, look at what strengths you have, but also the weaknesses you have. If you were to talk to Joseph, Joseph would tell you, I have dreams, but he also had a loose tongue. He was telling everybody about his dreams and that got him into trouble with his brothers and with his mother and father. And so also do a very honest assessment of your weaknesses along with your strength. David, he had shepherding experience, but we discovered later he'd also, he also had the last problem. Abraham had obedience of faith. He had great faith. He could believe God and follow the Lord, but he also had a lying tongue. Noah was a righteous man. He survived the great flood and so forth, but he also had a wine problem. If you spoke to Paul, Paul had a radical conversion, but he also had a problem with intolerance. Peter could preach mightily, powerfully under the auction, auction of the Holy Spirit, but he had a racial bias. So if you were to look at these examples, you will see it is a given that with each and every one of us, when you do your assessment, you'll find great strength, but also be sincere about your weaknesses because you will know what there is that needs to be managed, what needs to be restrained, what needs to de be developed. Because if you don't do that, you'll be a man of great strength, but compromised integrity, for instance. 
Now, here are a few things that I want you to know you have as you do your baseline. The advantage you have in your portfolio one, you've got the word resource. As you go out to influence, please make sure that the area where you are influencing, you've got the backing of the word of God. You've got his promises for the area that you want to affect. You've got a divine calling upon your life that stands you in good stead. That is your authentication. That is your endorsement. You've got a mandate. You are sent. You're not self-sent. The Lord has sent you. And so that commissioning is what actions your influence as a leader. You've got a unique person, personal profile. In other words, you've got gifts that other people don't have. You've got skills and experiences and talents and qualifications and material resources. Some of you may have money. Some of you may have property. Some of you may have all kinds of material resources. Be strategic about how you use these things as you influence. You've got the Holy Spirit who indwells you, the most dynamic power in the whole universe. That is the power that enables you to transcend every limitation as you influence. You've got the resource of faith because a lot of the influence will start with you seeing it before it manifests. Now faith is the substance of the things that we hope for. It is the evidence of the things that are unseen. So don't even begin to influence if you don't believe Elohim for the grace to influence. Don't influence if you cannot see it because faith simply makes manifest those things that already exist in the realm of the spirit in the physical dimension. And a lot of the change you want to bring about is probably already in the physical realm. Your faith will connect you to that and bring alignment and connection to the things you want to affect. You've got access, you've got networks, use that. Now, this is just a base assessment or inventory of what you have. There's a whole lot more that you have to offer. But with these strengths and opportunities that you have, also be mindful of the weaknesses that you have. Now, if you look back at those benchmarks that we used to say, how do you actually draw a baseline from those benchmarks? You will see ultimately what Moses influenced was, 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 was a landslide success in leadership. He facilitated the deliverance of a whole nation, Israel out of Egypt and the transition into the promised land, though he did not go in, very resourceful. Joseph took charge of the Egyptian government and all its food supplies. David ruled over Israel. Abraham secured a destiny by faith, not just for himself. He left a legacy of blessing covenantally that we still enjoy today. Noah survived a global disaster, the Great Flood. Paul released the blueprints of the church as it relates to definition, culture, doctrine, composition, the foundation, and the list is endless. So these guys have influenced, made their impact, caused change on a personal level, on a community level, on a national scale, globally, historically. But when you look at this, the message we are trying to get across to you is to say, after you've done an assessment of what you have, define what you want to influence. Because once you have defined what you, what you want to influence and you know what that end state is, it is easy to come back and say, in terms of my baseline, what is the gap that I need to fill so that my influence can be effective? Now, I want to basically show you a few testimonies briefly. We've got about nine minutes to go. Here is just the question, how will you do it? And the best way I could get it to you is practical examples. 12 years ago, the Lord spoke to me to build houses. We managed to build a foundation of an eight-roomed house and a complete eight-roomed house. Now, what happened there really for us to be able to build the house we needed to release capacity in order to gain and extend and build and expand capacity. And this is how simplistic building capacity is. For you to build capacity, you need to release capacity. 
It's in line with the universal law of seed time and harvest. What you sow is what you reap. You cannot see a forest lest you are willing to sow the seed potential of the forest in the ground. And this is a principle in many respects in the world, in the secular setup that is contrary to what I am teaching. The world will tell you, if you want capacity, you have to go and get all the resources from all over the place, and then you have capacity. But in essence, the kingdom builds capacity through seed, you sow, you release capacity so that you have capacity. If you look at Moses, he had to release his staff. And that's how we saw the potential. He would not see the miracles of what that staff could do in front of the Pharaoh if he had not released that capacity. So it is important that you settle this in your heart as a very base principle. If you are going to build capacity, you must be willing to release capacity. And you don't release capacity when you have money. You don't release capacity when you have the right network and access. You release capacity from what you have currently. What you have now, that's where you release capacity from. So as a leader, where you are looking at influencing and, and, and impacting, remember the impact will come because you are willing to release your capacity. The Silebanos is a testimony of two years ago. These guys, they are our neighbors. They were part of the BSOT for one year. They saw our struggle as it related to internet connectivity. They decided, well, we need internet. We're doing business. We're setting up a modem in our house and you share, sharing our bandwidth. And for the past two years, we've been connecting internet through their Wi-Fi. Now, what is the impact? You, you are the evidence of the capacity they've released. They've sown bandwidth, you are receiving coaching. They've sown bandwidth, you're receiving the B-sort. They sown bandwidth and, and you are receiving, you know, the leadership equipping. And, and that's what I'm saying that when you release capacity, you gain capacity. So as it relates to them, there is no way the Lord can dishonor their business, their growth and preservation because of the capacity they've released elsewhere. Now, two weeks ago in um, Bloemfontein's Kalop Motsabi, um, the Bishop community were in there in an informal settlement and they pick up, picked up needs of this community. And at the time there was no budget, but the people were hungry, they were not clothed, they were not fed, they're living in shakes, and you can go on and on, the need is endless. Six days later, which is now a week ago, we saw what releasing capacity can do. 8,500 worth of groceries was available, 15 families were fed, they were not just fed with food, they had clothing, they had all manner of supplies that came simply because somebody released capacity. So it is amazing what you can achieve when you are willing to release your capacity. We may have varied capacities. I may have a 2% a capacity of the need and you may have 100% capacity. Somebody else may have an 80% capacity. The principle is, if you are going to influence as an individual, you need to be willing to release capacity. As a team, you need to be willing to release capacity. As a family, you need to be willing to release capacity. As an assembly, you need to be willing to release capacity. And ultimately, the influence happens, the impact happens because you were willing to release capacity. And that is in the world, the reverse psychology of building capacity. You build capacity, you gain capacity by releasing capacity. And so this is the first principle I wanted to share with you in this 15 minutes about how can you take the leadership edge fundamentals and put it to good use. It starts by look at what you've got, develop a willing art to release capacity and then start to impact. You may want to look at big scale projects, but I can tell you, you can start where you are. I'm not sure what's happening to your neighbor. You might be having capacity to affect that neighbor. And in the process of sowing into the neighbor's need, 
you are increasing your receiving capacity because the universal law dictates that as you sow into your neighbor, you open more room for your capacity to extend. And that brings me to the end of this afternoon's 10, 15 minute coaching. And I would want to hear from you as you reflect on the WhatsApp group, what area of your life is being challenged and how are you going to release capacity to make sure that this training is not wasted in your life and it bears the fruit that the Father wants it to bear? We've got three minutes. If anybody wants to quickly reflect on something, you may do so. I'm stopping my screen share. I'm coming back to you. Three minutes, unmute yourself. Quickly reflect if you can, and God bless you. Anybody by a show of hands? <laughs> Who is unmuted now? Oh, Minister Yvette, Minister Yvette, please come through. Um, there's a lot. It's um, there's a lot that's packed in these few minutes, definitely. But um, <laughs> I think what's encouraging is the fact that you know the. The examples you gave us of Moses, Joseph, and ETC, they had strengths, they also had weaknesses. And that's how we are as well. So for me, it's encouraging that, you know, I can do it. I just need to focus on, on what I want to do. So thank you very much. Th thank you for that reflection, Minister Yvette. Absolutely, absolutely. Do not be limited by your weaknesses. And we're exactly looking at these models, biblical models to say to you, just as Minister Yvette is saying, you can make it, you can do it. You have what it takes to influence, use it, use it. Pastor Donda, do you want to reflect there briefly? Just unmute yourself or anybody? <clears throat> Pastor John, you wanna come in? <laughs> uh, shalom, shalom Pastor and everybody, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. We've got 30 seconds. Go for it. Oh, so 30 seconds. Um, my reflection is that each and every person has the weak points and the, um, and the strength. Now, we need to come as we are into the work of the Lord, regardless of our weaknesses, because the Lord is the one who knows our destination. So he will make provisions for us along the way. I, I really liked uh, the, 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 the example that you made from Moses to Abraham and Noah. They all had their weaknesses and they had their own strengths. But at the end of the day, uh, the Lord took them to their destinations. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, 10 seconds to go. Prophet Sibulai, you want to take that 10 seconds there? Just unmute yourself, please. Am I am I audible? Yes, we can hear you. Ten seconds, go for it. Um, on it. Um, I think my reflection is just that um, your weakness will not um, is not greater than the the assignment or the the sphere of in, influence that the Elohim has prepared for you. So mm -hmm. you measure your strength. Um, in, not in line with the weakness, but be mindful of the capacity and the potential of the weakness to interfere and to interrupt um, the, the influence and the impact of the assignment. They are not going to um, manage it. Thank you, Apostle. Thank you so much for that reflection. I don't know how much time we have, but we almost run out of it. Anybody else wants to reflect? 10 seconds, going once, going twice. Pastor Lizzie, you want to um, reflect on, 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 on this a few seconds? Just unmute yourself. J just unmute yourself, Pastor Lizzie. OK, Pastor Lizzie is still unmuting. Um, Minister Siame, would, would you like to go for it there? Uh, yeah, OK. No, shalom to everybody. Well, so, it's a lot, just like Pastor Yvette said, but then I think um, what resonates is the fact that 
the very same weakness that you have and the very same strengths that you have, LOM can use that to impact others. So you must never overlook um, your weaknesses. They still have a strength at some point. Yeah. Wow, fantastic, fantastic. I would love to have more reflections. Pastor Lizzie, I see you unmuted. Go for it. <laughs> yes, I finally found my weakness. <laughs> But um, yes, I, I agree with the previous uh, speaker is that uh, we mustn't focus on our weaknesses. Um, God has prepared strengths and we already have the, the, uh, um, the capacity. We must just go in and do what we're called to do. And uh, you have no idea how I needed this, uh, Apostle Emmanuel. Um, wow. It was it was really God uh, God driven um, uh, teaching this today. I thank you very much. Amazing, thank you for that reflection. And that brings us to the end of our session for today. I will see where the Lord opens opportunity, and we'll have these short short coaching um, injections just to help you implement the training that you're receiving for your time and the grace upon your life. Thank you, Elohim. Bless you. Continue to serve. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Apostle. Amen. 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 Apostle. Amen. Apostle. <laughs> we love you.